Hello again folks. So these are my Germans. I've bought the Germans in Great Coats from Crusader Miniatures. I had them in the New Year's sale. And those are a real good bargain. I think I paid ah, just over forty pounds for well it must be around forty yeah, about forty figures, a pound each for sort of Crusader artisan figures are a really good deal I think. Might have been a tad more, <laughs> I don't remember. But I remember it being a good deal, that's for sure. And these are all painted up now. And I've thrown in the mix. You might have seen these in my first video. Um, some artisan figures. Which are, they're still in great coats, but I think they're meant to be mid war, maybe. I, I'm not 100%. But I painted them up all as uh, early war Germans. So you might be surprised to see the uh, big cats in the back. But um, I use those with my plastic grenadiers from Warlord. And I'm pretty happy with how those turned out as well. I've got a little Kubo, Kubo wagon as well. Um, you won't have seen the... It's my anti-tank gun. That's a Warlord one. The artillery piece I've just finished over there. And this, my pride and joy, the mortar team from Crusader Miniatures. I'd love to get the uh, heavy machine gun that they do for the Germans in Crate Coats as well. I'm really, really happy with these. So I'm, I'm particularly happy with the, the NCOs that I have. So every squad has... Well, they're ten-man squads and they've got an LMG and load it and they've got uh, an NCO with an SMG whereas this one I think has a rifle, I'll show you him I do think I've gone a bit overboard with the highlights I went in with um, field grey as the base then I um, shaded that down with Agrax Earthshade and I went in with green grey Vallejo's green group for edge highlighting, but I do think I've gone overboard. I think less is more with these guys, definitely. So where I've taken it too far is just... It does pop, you know, but um, I think it is a bit overboard. I'm going to be a bit subtle with that in the future, I think. And of course I've done the same uh, orange-brown highlight on the rifles, and that's come out really nicely. So yeah, really happy with these figures. The models are very, very nice. All metal. Well, everything you see here is metal, for the as far as the infantry is concerned, anyway. And um, that's my German bolt action force. So yeah, usually I'll be fielding all the infantry as early war, and I might get uh, a little Panzer One or a Panzer Two or something. There's too much temptation at the moment as uh, Warlords Winter. <laughs> Is it Winter Grenadiers or Winter Germans are coming out? And <laughs> I've just bought these, so I might uh, hold off a little while before I get those. Um, this is the stuff I used to prime them. Uh, let's see if I get a long shot of that. And that's lovely stuff. I think it's a tad less dear than uh, Games Workshop sprays. But it primes them up at a real treat. So I'd recommend going for a can of that grey as well so it's not as forgiving as black but then it seems a nice halfway point be before white if that makes sense white seems um, very unforgiving whereas black is great for beginners yeah and I varnished it with gloss varnish from Winsor Newton this one this one is really great stuff and a big old pot of it, I think it was £7, so I'd highly recommend that stuff. But of course you do get a sheen on it, so then you go in with any brush-on matte varnish or spray-on varnish then. Just to take that sort of gloss off it, because I don't like it, personally. So yeah guys, that's my German Force. Two videos in a day, <laughs> yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed. Ta-ra!